Hello everybody, my name is Kader and welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're going to continue this series, boys. In the last video, we went ahead and got past half of the first year on the, as GM for the brand new, well, for ECW basically, trying to rebuild them from uh, the start. We're doing pretty good. If we take a look at the stats, uh, where, where do we have to go? I think it's uh, job, yeah, there we go, companies. We're actually the third best company around. It's not too, uh, wasn't too hard to get there. But uh, with five reputation, just like the two other ones, uh, we're almost we're almost there in order to beat the WCW guys, boys. We have a new uh, new guy, a new girl to the roster, Gail Kim. We added her to the roster, boys. Uh, I don't think, I don't know actually, Do I, am I tr training somebody? I'm not training anybody right now, it seems like. So I want to train her. Uh, per se, I think she might need uh, help for training. Yeah, definitely charisma. She needs some help with charisma. So I'm going to train her up. There we go. Uh, train her up for charisma. Just like that. That's what we're going to do. We're going to train her up while uh, we're also going to be pushing her. She's going to be the next girl we're pushing. Uh, Lita's push is coming to an end, boys, basically. So it is what it is. Let's go into booking style. We're already going to it. Uh, we're going to go into it. And we're going to see what uh, we want to do right here. So... Not entirely sure what I want to do uh, for the matches, uh, the, the actual matches right here. Uh, we'll see. I guess I'm going to go for a singles match. I think a singles match would be better for Stone Cold versus Ric Flair. We're just going to keep it uh, like uh, real for, like that for now. And I think a triple threat match. Well, never, uh, these two ones, actually, uh, Trisha is, uh, is injured. That's right, for three months, right? Or two months. So yeah, she's going to be missing out on two pay-per-views. She's still the champ, though. So I think the rest is just me basically doing a, a triple tref, a triple threat or some sort. So I'm just going to let the AI decide the matches then. Uh, I'll let the AI decide the matches. I'm going to do quality and uh, automatic, I guess. Automatic, quality, add matches. Okay, so it looks like the AI just decided to, to add this. I'm going to remove the, fu uh, remove the feud. So it's just Ricky Steamboat versus Kurt Enning. All right, I got you. Well, I guess, uh, whoa, 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 I don't want to do that. I guess what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to do uh, every single other uh, wrestler, I guess, in there. So this is going to be a, a six-way match, boys. Just like that. So just three matches for this pay-per-view. It's a really small one. Really small pay-per-view. Not sure exactly what we're going to do with it, but uh, we'll see. So uh, I'm going to add a gimmick match. To this one uh last gimmick though uh was i think it was a steel cage so we're just going to do a submission match uh right here uh for this match right here the two other ones as well we're just going to give them gimmicks as well uh, i'm going to give him a brawl no i don't like brawls and poles i'm going to just do tables match for this one and uh for this one it's going to be a street fight match all right so uh three matches with stipulation on them that's going to help them out a little bit and we also have segments we got to put on right now. So we're just going to do the same thing as usual. We're going to do main event package. Just like that. Put it before the main event. Uh, we do have a debut uh, going on right now. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for uh, Gail Kim right here. We're going to boost her debut up. Boost the character, the, the, the wrestler up. Uh, right before her great ma a big match against everybody else. And we're going to jump on in, boys. Have a lot of fun. So let's do it. Let's jump on in uh, straight up like that. So there we go. Anarchy rules just like that. These are the top prospects for the pay-per-view and stuff. They want Stone Cold to retain. The fans want Stone Cold to retain the title. They want Ricky Steamboat to win the tables match. And they want Jake Roberts to win the big uh, six-way match. Not going to happen. Obviously, Gail Kim's going to win that match, which is really going to help out tremendously. Uh, she's getting so overness and popularity boost from that good uh, package right here. And we're obviously going to give her somebody here doesn't have a... Is that because it's Paul Eamon? Probably. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyways, let's just uh, go for search for uh, Gail Kim. There she is. She's going to get their debut win against all of them, boys. All of them right here. Now, some of them are really unhappy. Like uh, Jake Roberts, for example. He's pretty unhappy. Uh, uh, Rob Van Dam's gonna start to really be unhappy and stuff, but uh, don't care. I'm gonna have to give a boost to Gail Kim, and there she is. So, 8% of 
uh, overness and five uh, five percent of morale change of plus morale 80 of popularity change that's a big change she goes from three uh, 981 boys to what four something 400 500 almost pretty much so already she's moving on quite quick just for that match and uh, this one it was Ricky Steamboat so people wanted Ricky Steamboat to win we'll just give them what they want uh, there we go just give them uh, the fans what they want boys Li lively start and some blood into the match Mr. Perfect bled he still hasn't won a single match yet though Mr. Perfect cannot catch a break but yo look the fans want him, Ricky to win it is what it is so Ricky's gonna win a five-star match really good match right here Main event package to finish it off. All right. And that's a really good boost for the main event. And they wanted Stone Cold to retain the title right here. I I don't know if I did the screw job, right? I don't think I did the screw job just yet. So I think I just, I can just redo it again. So let's just do screw job again and do uh, Stone Cold as the winner. Let's go, boys. Uh, finish already yet. So, okay. So screw job did already happen. In the previous match. Okay, so that's fine, I guess. I guess it's fine. Uh, if I hadn't done that, it would have been a five-star match, boys. Kind of dropped it out a little bit because of that. But I guess it's fine anyways. Almost a five-star match for this one as well for the main event. Now, unfortunately, it was only three matches. Which means the popularity itself of the pay-per-view is not going to go that up uh, that much. Because obviously, there's not a lot of content in it. But uh, I think it's fine by me in any ways. ECW Championships going up. Uh, pay-per-view itself is going to be almost a five-star pay-per-view. Really good one. It's going to upgrade it to the max. Uh, my scout or my talent just got uh, somebody interested in the company. Plus 25 XP. We're now at Reputation 6. We're moving up quite nicely in terms of company, boys. We just gained 37k fans just on that. Just like that, 69k uh, fans are showing up to the, the show, which is pretty nice. And WCW, they're gaining some fans. WWF keeps losing fans. They are having bad matches, ba bad pay-per-views and all. Bad for them, good for me, I guess. And Eddie Guerrero is back, boys. He's ready to return. Good, good, good. So we got Eddie now. Injury return. So he's got a, a huge boost, right? Yeah, he changed boost is available. Now that Eddie is back from injury, he's going to be super over with the fans. Uh, usually that's what happens with the people that uh, are injured. They come back. They get a, a large overness bonus. And he's 91 overness right now. So he's got a lot of popularity of uh, going for him, which is really good. Really fantastic, boys. So we got to keep that uh, that train going right here. Oh, really good. In one month, the champ uh, Trish Stratus is going to be back as well, which is going to be fantastic. Let's just keep it rolling, boys. We're going to November to remember, which is obviously the November uh, pay-per-view right here. Let's go right into it. Uh, first match we got to do, obviously, the main event is got uh, has to be the main title. So we're going to go ahead and do just a 1v1 situation. Once again, we're just going to keep... Keep going for the 1v1 for these two. They're having good matches against each other. And we're also going to have it so that it is no stipulation. So there's not going to be any gimmicks to this one. And uh, we, uh, what's the other one we got? We can't go for any championship. We're going to do Jealous Friend uh, jealous friend right here. We don't have a chance but uh, choice but to book that one. So we're just going to book it and keep it going really where it was. No, I don't, I don't know exactly. Uh, do I want to add a gimmick? I think I do. So uh, we were doing street fights, so we might as well do... I don't want to do any of these right here. I don't want to do loser leaves as well. So I don't think I can do a TLC. I think that's just for, yeah, championship matches. So let's do Iron Man match right here. There we go. An Iron Man match between Eddie and Chris Benoit, boys. Fantastic. What do we want right here? What type of, uh, of thing do we want? I think I'm, I want to go for a triple threat, maybe. So I want to go for a heel, obviously. A face. And afterwards, it all comes down. Do we do we have a neutral? We don't have any neutral, so we just got to pick. Whoever's the most popular. So I'll just let the AI. I'm letting the AI decide for the matches. Uh, let's just do standard or quality. I want to keep doing quality matches. 
Uh, maximum amount of matches, please. There we go. Maximum amount of matches. Ah, there we go. That's perfect. So they're going to book everybody as much as possible. We're going to remove that feud. Remove that one as, as well. Just going to keep... Uh, yeah, we're just going to keep it like uh, as it is right here. Submission match for Kale Kim versus Lita right here. Actually, that's pretty interesting. They So the AI decided to put a submission match right here. And uh, Robin Dam versus Sting. Uh, nothing to it per se. So we're going to have to add uh, Jake Roberts to the mix right here. So Sting, Rob Van Dam, and Jake Roberts. Just like that. And uh, I don't I don't know if I want to add a gimmick right here or not. Maybe uh, maybe I do. Just going to have... I think it was... What's the other one? It was a, a, a Iron Man match, right? So I might just want to add a TLC. I can't add a TLC. All right, let's just add the Steel Cell match. There we go. So still sell match between these three. And uh, Gelkin versus Lita. Kurt Enning versus... Uh, so Mr. Perfect Ricky versus Ricky Steamboat once again. Uh, we're moving on. We're doing pretty much the same matches. But for the most part, I'm just trying to, to do stuff that's working out. You know, if uh, certain matches are working for the fans, I'll just keep uh, doing them. I do want to boost uh, a few though, though. Definitely want to boost one of these two feuds. I think I want to do this one, best in the world. I want to bo bo boost that one up. So let's boost it up. Uh, main event package, feud package right afterwards. And uh, that's how we're going to do it. Let's stop on in, boys. Hop on in just like that. November to remember. So these are the three big uh, celebrities for that pay-per-view right here. Good to know. Let's go into it. Here is Kimberly Ortiz. All right, so they want uh, the fans want Stone Cold to retain once again. Eddie to win, Ricky to win, Lita to win, and Rob Van Dam to win. So that's what they want. All right, got you. Got you big time. So now they wanted Rob Van Dam to win that match. We'll give them what they want, obviously. And Rob Van Dam needs it. He definitely needs it. Uh, Jake Roberts as well, but the, f the fans want Rob Van Dam. So we'll give them what they want. And uh, there it is. So Rob is getting only a second win of... Uh, the entire career so far that he's got with us. Uh, pretty cool. Right now he's going to get a little bit of a boost from that. Uh, three and a half star. That's pretty good for him. Uh, who else? So Gelkin versus Lita boys in the submission match. You already know who I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to uh, make win right here. Lita. Uh, does she have a loss? Yeah, she lost the last pay-per-view. She was not having a huge boost boys. But she's about to. Get wrecked by uh, Gail Kim right here. She's a new one to have a boost. Low intensity. So these ties, these two girls do not connect too well together, I guess. They don't go well against each other, match well against each other. Uh, which bring the, the match down a little bit. That is not good. Uh, re, uh, Kurt Enning versus Ricky Steamboat. They still wanted Ricky to win. So I'll just keep giving them what they want, I guess. There we go. Just keep giving the fans what they want. Good psychology. Boom. Great match right there. Five star just like that. Next up, it's going to be Eddie versus Chris. Uh, I don't know who they want to win exactly. I don't know, boys, but uh, I think they wanted Eddie to win, right? Yeah, I think they wanted Eddie to win that one. Uh, we are going to do Respectful End, but it's not a blow off. It's not a blow off, so we can't just do Respectful End, right? A heel refuses to cheat and lose violently. So the heel becomes uh, a face. Whoever is the heel right here is Eddie. Yeah, the heel's Eddie. Do we want Eddie as a face? I don't think I want to turn or uh, turn him or anything, boys. Throw in the towel. Could do that. Or switch alliances. Paul Eamon switches from Chris Benoit to Eddie, boys. I mean, Paul Eamon is a heel after all. He's a neutral right now. He could go for any guy, any of these two. I think I can do that. I think I can do... Throw in the towel so Eddie wins basically because of that. There we go. Throw in the towel moved up the, the, the match as well. So there we go. Uh, nobody loses from that. Uh, and that's perfect. Eddie uh, Eddie wins that match. But uh, because uh, Paul Eamon threw that uh, match away with the towel, uh, Chris Benoit doesn't lose any uh, popularity from that. So it keeps going up. So that's pre pretty good for them. Uh, main event time. Let's go for it, boys. Main event. Oh, the boost for the main event. Not too good, actually. Not a lot of hype. That one was not uh, really, really good. Let's uh, let's see about the feud. 
Feud package was pretty decent, uh, 85%. All right, so we get two major boosts from the pay-per-view, uh, the main event. Puts that at 100 and hype over here. Over here. Uh, let's see. So they wanted Stone Cold to return, uh, retain once again. Uh, I'll give them, uh, the fans what they want. Ring collapse. No, that is one way we can do it. Uh, we can definitely do a ring collapse right here. So I'm going to do that. Stone Cold retains via ring collapse, boys. Fantastic. Matches a five and a half star just like that. Another great pay-per-view, boys. We're having some decent matches right here. Aside from the two first ones, the other ones are really good. That's really going to just help out my company the more and more and more, I guess. And Stone Cold, just for that one ti that title reign he's having right now, is helping out his uh, ratio, win-to-loss ratio right here. That's really good for him. And let's see, pay-per-view, four and a half star. Once again, there we go. As long as we uh, stay in the, uh, this region right here, we should be all right. All right, so Stone Cold uh, reversed Ric Flair's finisher, cursed at him, and hits, uh, hit his own. That's really good. That's really fantastic. And our company went up in terms of XP as well. Good, good, good. So we gained 9K fans, almost 10K basically. That's really good. This time around, WCW is the one lost a fan, uh, some fans. WWF gained some fans back. Good for them, I guess. Good for them. All right, so Lita, she wants to get out, uh, get out of here. So she can either go to WWF or WCW, which are two of my biggest, the two biggest companies outside of me. Don't know if I want to let her go. Uh, is she happy with me? She is happy. She's 88%, per, uh, percent, so I can decline it. All right, now I'm going to decline. There we go. I, I didn't agree. I want to keep her, boys. If they're happy, I can afford them, uh, I can afford uh, to get let them be here. So I managed to get Chavo Guerrero who is available to sign in Indies. Interested in joining our company? Don't care about any of that, boys. Uh, new talent, Larry Robinson, doesn't matter. Trish is back to the ring. 4% boost of overness just from that because she's back. That is fantastic. So how much of a boost of overness she's got right now? Um, let's see really quick, boys. She's over by 89%. Woo! She's got a lot of overness going on right now, boys. She's super popular. Super popular. All right. That's great. First thing we're going to do in December. So we're going to go into the Indies. Look for a new uh, wrestler uh, for January. So we're going to look into that real quick. There is one thing that is for sure is I'm still interested in having another woman. Once I get four women, boys, I'm going to have four wrestlers if I get another one right here. I'm going to be basically able to go for the to create the women's rents, uh, women's championship. I mean, I should I want to do that. So Medusa could be a great addition. Workhorse, big match specialist, enjoys gimmick matches. Mickey James could be a really good one as well. You know, there's a lot of options right here. Tori Wilson, I don't know if she's good. Well, she's all right. She's not a bad wrestler. She's not a good one either. She's just a normal one. Uh, she's neutral though, so that could benefit us. But I think I I might want to go for like a veteran like Medusa or a complete new rookie in Mickey James. I kind of want I kind of want to try out Mickey James. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna try her out, boys. So 275, I'm gonna try her out. She's gonna be there for the next month. So we're gonna have Mickey James in the in the team, boys. That's fantastic. Let's keep it going. Dashboard. We still have one month left of training for uh, Gail, uh, Gail Kim, which is uh, great. And uh, let's see what we got. So what do we want to do here? Do you want to keep it going for the main matches and stuff? I think I want to do a massive match this time around. Since we did uh, pretty much almost three matches in a row where it was a, a singles match between these two. I think it's time to give uh, the chance to a lot of people. So... We don't have a choice to put these guys, they're main eventers, they're guaranteed a title chance. Uh, but uh, I want to put uh, at least another one of them uh, right here. So what do I want to do right here? We had Chris Benoit versus Eddie, right? I think that was a feud that was going on, so I want to keep that feud going. So I think I want to just get these guys. And I don't want to touch these two guys, I want to keep their feud going. Uh, so I think Rob Van Dam, Jake Roberts, or... Lita, boys, one of these three. Uh, whoever is the most popular, 
Well, the most popular is obviously Rob Van Dam right now. Who's got the most overness? I think the most overness is Lita. She's the one who has the most. Uh, she's the most over. So we're gonna we're gonna put Lita. Give her a chance uh, for that one, boys. So give her a chance for the world title. We're just gonna change her hair a little bit. Uh, create B, just like that. So that's gonna be the main event, or big time main event, boys. And for uh, we're gonna actually add a gimmick match to that one as well, just to spice it up. It was a still sell last time, so let's just do a non-sanctioned match. There we go. Uh, next up, do we want a multi-man match or not? I think so. I think we want a multi-man as well. So uh, definitely gonna do Rob Van Dam, Eddie, and Chris just to finish it up, boys. So uh, this is basically so we need to blow off the new challenger feud. And basically blow out the Jealous Friend feud as well. We're going to blow off these two big time. So Fatal Foy add a blow off to both these feuds up, boys. Both of them. And we are going to go ahead and add a, uh, We're not going to do any gimmick matches for this one. No gimmick matches for this one, boys. And there's only one match remaining. So we're just going to uh, get that one going right here. So Gail Kim versus Jake Roberts for that one. We're going to put it in the middle. Uh, right there, so that's gonna be fantastic. So that's basically that do I want a gimmick match for that one? I don't know yet. Uh, I think I do. I think I do want a gimmick match So we uh the last time we did we did unsanction, but it was Iron Man match for the last time We did an actual uh, 1v1 situation. So I think I want to do I want to do the I quit match right here There we go simple special stipulation boys. So I quit match between Gail Kim and Jake Roberts, unsanctioned match, big time six four with six way, and a fatal four way for the first match of the pay per view. That's uh, gonna be a fantastic pay per view right there, boys. Production, let's go back right here, do the same thing as always, get the main event going, and uh, the new thing. I think someone is back from injury, right? We can, I think we can do that. A return package, yeah think we can do that we can do a return package for uh, who is it it's uh trish who's back right let's bring her back there we go return package there we go so participants do need to be injured a month or two away from their return uh so they need to actually be injured okay i got you well i guess i'm not going to do that just yet day in the life don't want to do that return debut not really the i could do event package and again, I, I think I kind of want to do feud as well. Kind of do uh, want to do feuds. We already did best in the world. We haven't done uh, Jada's friend. I forgot a feeling. Got a feeling we haven't done our one. So we're just going to, uh, there we go. We're going to boost that feud up for this match. All right, let's hop on in, boys. I think uh, that's perfect as it is. So Massacre on 34th Street. That's going to be our next pay-per-view, just like that. Let's see what the fans want to see. They want, Stoke, they want Stone Cold to retain. They, they want him to keep the title once again. They want Gail Kim to win. But that aligns with uh, the way I, I'm going right now. So that's good. And they want Chris Benoit to win the title. So to become the new champ, basically. So they want Trish Stratus to lose the title. after Right after coming back as well. That's an interesting one. Didn't think they would want uh, Trish to lose the title just like that. But I guess that's the case. All right, 100% effectiveness, but it was already held. So there was already a package for that feud, which uh, hurted it badly. So it's only a three stars. It could have had uh, five stars, but unfortunately, it was already held, boys. So didn't do much. It did a little bit, but not too much to match. So 96 of hype. Uh, I do remember they wanted uh, Eddie to win the champ, right? Yeah, they wanted Eddie Guerrero to win the championship. So uh, let's give them uh, what they want, boys. They want Eddie to win. We'll give them Eddie. Give it up. There we go. Eddie is now the new ECW World Television Champion. Great for him. Bad for Trish. I guess she comes back for injury. She had uh, how much time? She had four months as champ, uh, although she did miss out on two months right uh, because of injury but i guess that's fine I guess that's fine she had her time boys gimmick uh the gimmick for rob and dam is actually going up in overness it's actually uh really going up so that's pretty good for him really happy about that 
uh, I am going to start uh, I'm going to need to start giving some W's to uh, Chris Benoit though because he's uh, he, he's having a tough time right now Gail Kim we already know it's her who's going to win the match she's getting the push not a good match she only had a 3 star not a good match man versus Jake um, I don't know it's not connecting, man. Three stars. She's not really having good matches. I'm kind of disappointed. I'm giving her push, a, a big push. But she's not like doing anything with it, really. It's kind of very disappointing right now. I kind of... I would have hoped for her to be better, you know. Uh, main event package. So finally, let's get the main event going. There we go. Effectiveness all the way up. And uh, they wanted uh, Stone Cold to win it all. Makes sense. He's the most popular of all of them. Right now, you can 39% of happiness for Mr. Perfect. He hasn't won a single match. He's not going to win another one. He's going to lose another one right here. He's going to be 0-10. I feel bad for these type of wrestlers, boys. But uh, I, what do you mean? What, what do you know, right? Mr. Perfect is just a, one of my jobbers. One of my many jobbers, boys. He's just doing the job. The fans don't want him to win. He's not winning. That's just as simple as that. So Stone Cold, you retain the championship. Uh, the match was uh, fantastic, which means everybody uh, gained something from it. Everybody gained some popularity and overness from it, which is uh, really good. And uh, hopefully some pop happiness as well. What about the Mr. Perfect? Did he gain some happiness? Popularity change up and uh, overness to morale change plus 10. All right. Yeah, um, even the happiness goes up. So five and a half star pay-per-view uh, main event once again. Just lucky to have a, a lot of good main events going on right now, boys. That's going to help out my pay-per-view overall. Give it a four and a half star pay-per-view. Uh, once again, another good rating. We're moving up in XP as well. We're just doing fantastic over and over, boys. And uh, we gained 17k fans. We're almost at 800k. Uh, of uh, fans overall right now so we're moving up there F plus 50k for starcade minus 4 54 for uh, wwf right here all right let's keep it going it's actually time boys because we're in january it's actually time for the uh wrestler awards for the entire year right who was the best wrestler who had the best match the worst match all of them all of the awards let's continue right here i want to see the awards so it's time to wrestling to spectator awards 2002. I'm your host Scorpio Sky, and I'll try to do a better job than every other in incapable host over the years. We'll start with the stupidest match ever. So stupidest match ever, boys of the year. Uh, nominees, please. So let's continue. Match of the year: the nominees: Bob for Buff Bagwell versus Taz in a submission match. Danny Doring versus Brock Lesnar in the LMS match. And Taz versus Buck Backwell again in a pole match. Who won the stupidest match? Let's see right here. Buff Bagwell versus Taz. Pole match, boys. All right. In Starcade. So that was right there or the, the previous year, I guess. I don't know. Kurt, uh, Mr. Perfect versus Ricky Steamboat versus Stone Cold. Triple Threat Tables match, boys. In June, that was held. Rogue Kill versus Chris Jericho. In a loser leaves match, Stone Cold versus Ric Flair in a ladder match. Oh, we got two chances of winning a trophy right here. Are we gonna win one? Ah, uh, we didn't win it. Damn, we had two out of three chances here, and we didn't win one. Okay, that's fine. All right, so the next award, what is it? Nominees, Championship of the Year. What is going to be the championship? The ECW Heavyweight, CZW World Junior Heavyweight. Or WCW Cruiserweight. All right, let's hope for it. We haven't got a single win yet. Uh, we got three nominations and uh, no wins so far. So, uh, well, two nominations, no win. That's our third one right here. Let's get the win. The winner is ECW Heavyweight Champ. Nice. We got the Championship of the Year award, boys. Great. That's really good. I'm happy. All right. What a great belt. I mean title there we go and we just we just gained some points from that that's really good all right so next up let's see what we got wrestler of the year who is the wrestler of the year boys stone cold 
So your nominee, Ric Flair for us as well. Bret Hart. All right, we got Stone Cold and Ric Flair in there. We got a chance, two out of three once again to chance, uh, a chance of winning. The winner is Bret Hart. Damn it, man. Wrestler of the year is Bret Hart. God damn it. We, it could have been uh, Stone Cold or Ric Flair and we didn't get it. Oh, well, boys. All right, all right. The next award is most hype event of the year. Okay, what is what is it? Starcade for WCW WrestleMania or Eat Wave? So all the basically the three biggest, biggest pay-per-view in the business right here. Let's hope that it's Eat Wave. I doubt it is. Pretty sure it's gonna be Starcade or WrestleMania, boys. I doubt Eat Wave, even though it did pretty well back then. I doubt it's gonna do as well as the other one. It did as well. So. Most hyped pay pay per view of the uh, of the year, boys. Eat wave. No way. We got it. Yo, we had the best hype pay per view. All right, that's fantastic. That's really good. Really good. What was the worst event of the year? Okay, hold on. Uh, Mary X X S Miss. New rules, no limits. King of the ring. No, none of them are for me. I think I don't have any of them. So yeah. None of them concern me. So I'm good on that one. Uh, event of the year. So the best pay-per-view of the year, boys. All right. Let's hope that we get it this one. We got it for the most hyped one. So Hardcore Heaven. Wrestlepalooza, which is one of ours. Hostile uh, City Showdown. I don't know about these two other ones. I don't know if they're uh, ours or not. I think Hardcore Heaven is one of ours as well. Uh, let's see if we're going to have the event of the year, boys. The winner is Hostile City Showdown. I don't think we got it. We did get it. Okay, so that was one of ours. Okay, so I'm guessing the three events that were three paper biggest pay per views of the year were ours. We had a really good year, boys, first year. All right, so good, good, good. Worst feud of the year Patriot versus David Flair, Giant Singh versus uh, Justin Thunderlike, uh, Vince Russo versus Dummy Dreamer. Yeah, all right. Definitely, that's a bad feud. Patriot versus David Flair is the worst feud, though, apparently. All right. The next thing is the feud of the year. So, the best feud of the year Sting versus Ric Flair, Bret Hart versus Rey, uh, Rey Mysterio, The Rock versus Booker T. That sounds like a really good one. So, we got one nominee right here. Let's hope that Sting and Ric Flair wins, boys. Let's hope for it. Bret Hart versus Rey Mysterio. Damn. All right. We didn't get that one, boys. We're not getting the big strong ones oh well oh well worst company of the year well it's definitely not gonna be us uh it's between wwf combat zone wrestling or extreme pro wrestling uh, you know i don't want to say it but i think wwf is probably the worst company of the year by far they uh, they only gained like two times once or twice uh, some fans or stuff like that overall. So that's pretty bad in itself. Let's see. Who's the worst company? Combat Zone Wrestling is the worst company. All right. WWF got saved right there. And next up, best company of the year. It is between WWF. How can they be nominated for the worst company and the best of the company at the same time? Shit makes no sense. Uh, WCW and ECW, boys. It would be really fun to have us as the best company of the year, but WCW did really well as well during the entire year. So I don't know, boys. Let's see right here. You, we did it. We got it. We are officially the best company of the year, boys. Oh, that is fantastic. That is just great. Worst match of the year, Jim Duggan. All right, so we are not in there. We don't need to worry about that, okay? Uh, best match of the year. Yeah, best match of the year. Are we in there? We are not in there for the best match of the year, boys. It doesn't matter to us. All right, so match of the year. Thanks for the attention. Winners can collect their prizes now. All right, so ring return. So Artifact Mysterious have managed to uh, do whatever. We've got a bunch of stuff going on, boys. Uh, Gal Kim's got uh, her training up. She finished her training. Antonio Banks. Mickey James is here, boy. So she just arrived. Let's take a look at Gail Kim first, though. Uh, she is getting a boost because she's overnight now, but she still needs to 
upgrade her character so I, I still i'm still gonna train her until at least she gets her charisma up there uh mickey james is doing just fine she's got two stars every uh, uh both sides so she's doing just fine right now what is she she's a heel all right let's see how many heels we got we got one two three four five six seven seven heels uh, is six heels if you don't count miss elizabeth and one two three four five five uh so six heels five faces we need uh i think we need uh someone to be a neutral right here we need someone to be a neutral i don't want to put mickey james as a neutral is she a natural well she could be a neutral but i don't want to put her in there in that position jake roberts is a uh, natural heel so i kind of want to keep it as a heel boys uh, he's 46 years of age though uh, what about uh, mr perfect natural heel as well i want to keep him as a heel sting natural baby face this thing is a natural baby face and uh, what about um trish stratus there we go change her for an alignment there we go she's going to be a neutral and that's just going to uh, be how it is i guess we're going to change it i like that so i'm going to end the video right here unless there's something else right here minus two i don't know what that means but uh yeah, I don't think there's anybody, anything else. There's no wrestlers or anything that retired or on my company or anything. So we're good on that side, boys. We can end the video right here. We're going to hop on in for uh, the next pushy, which is going to be M uh, Mickey James. She's going to be the next one we're going to be pushing. Actually, now that I think about it, before we end it, we have four women wrestlers right now. So it is time. It's time to add a new title to uh, the company, boys. We're gonna new. Uh, we're gonna do it. Uh, women's re I'm just gonna do woman, women's championship. There we go. Upper. Uh, we're gonna do lower lower mid card for that one. Singles, singles, absolutely. We're gonna do champion. Uh, I don't want to put anybody as the champion right now. They're gonna have to uh, gain it. There we go. And uh, that's basically it. Now it's the time for ch change it. Time to change the title, boys. What? what do we want it to look like basically i'm not entirely sure just yet i legit don't know what type of uh of a crest or logo i want on it i think that could be good but think uh of something interesting we can hop on in back and women's championship lower mid card boys uh we don't have any reigns obviously we're gonna start it up so we're gonna do a fatal four-way between the two, uh, three, four, uh, four girls for the next pay-per-view, the first pay-per-view of the year. And we're gonna see who, uh, who of them, out of them, is gonna be our first champ. Now, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.